Hello, welcome to Kekimon Yoga. And today's yoga practice is around the hips. We'll move straight into a nice deep flow to get the hips open and get you moving smoothly through your day. Coming off your comfortable seat, coming over onto hands and knees, curl the toes under the feet, lift the hips high, press into downward facing dog, lift the hips and bend the knees and continue to lift the hips high as you press into the hands, relax the neck, pedal the feet, inhale onto the toes, exhale heels, heels come down towards the floor. Continue to lengthen and extend through the spine. On the next inhalation, raise the right leg up, three-legged dog. As you exhale, bring the right knee through to the chest. Hover and lift the right knee higher as you press away from the floor. And then gently release the right foot in between the hands and take the left knee to the ground. Coming up onto the fingertips, lift the heart, look up. Exhale, allow the head to fold down with the top of the back coming towards the ceiling. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, heart pulse, back up, head bows. Last round through, inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale to lift. Sweep the hands up towards the ceiling. Extend through the sides of the body. Release the left hand to the, the right hand to the right side and the left hand stays high as we get a stretch into the left side of the body. Inhale, the right hand rises high. Left hand comes down to the floor. We stretch through the right side of the body. Move with the breath as you inhale, left hand up. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, right hand up. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, left hand up. Landing the left hand, right hand stays high, twisting, looking up the right fingertips and bending the left foot, taking the right hand over the left foot or ankle and begin to bring the left quad towards the floor as you wing the right foot open. Coming deeply into the groin, the glutes and the hips and gently release the left foot, the right foot, the hand comes up and over, landing on the outside of the right foot, pop the right knee outside the right shoulder, inhale and lengthen through the crown and on the exhalation bring the torso down towards the floor. And deeply stretching into the upper right hamstring. On the next inhalation, begin to straighten the right leg. Land the fingertips either side of the front foot. Extend through the crown. Inhale to lift and lengthen. And as you exhale, fold the chest towards the right thigh. Another breath here. On the next inhalation, landing the right foot, rising up. Exhale the hands behind the heart, interlace the fingers. Press the hands away and lift the heart high. Reaching with the hands down towards the floor. On the next exhalation, release the hands out in front of the body. Interlace the fingers and press the hands away from the heart, dropping the head forward. Release the hands either side of the front foot. Step the front foot back, coming into our first plank. Holding plank pose here. Mm. Pressing between the space of the shoulder blades, lifting the back of the heart and taking the tail to the wall behind you. Pressing and lifting from the floor. And then from here, 
Inhale to bring the crown of the head forwards over the toes and exhale, bend the elbows coming down, releasing all the way to the ground. Inhale, rise, cobra. Exhale, roll back over the knees and the toes, lifting the hips high, Adho Mukha Shavasana. We find the left side now as we inhale, left leg comes up, three-legged dog. On the exhalation, the left knee comes all the way through. Lift the left knee into the left chest. Press away with the hands. And then gently step the left foot to the floor. Drop the right knee down to the ground. Inhale, rise. Low lunge. Continue to drop the hips forward and down, opening through the right front hip flexor. On the next exhalation, take the right hand to the floor, the left hand comes high to the sky. Reach up and twist the chest towards the ceiling as you bend the right knee. Take the right foot in the left hand, wing the left leg to the left side, staying high, pressing into the right hand or beginning to bend the right elbow. Coming down, dragon pulling its tail, chest towards the floor. Inhale, rise, land the left hand outside of the left foot and pop the left knee outside of the left shoulder. Both the elbows are bent as we inhale and lengthen through the spine and exhale, bring the chest down towards the floor. On the next inhalation, pressing and straightening through the left foot and the left leg, lengthen through the crown and on the exhalation, fold, bringing the chest towards the left thigh, deepening into that left hamstring, feeling the opening there as we find some beautiful openings in our left side. Landing the left foot, rise the hands high, sweeping them up to the ceiling. Exhale, the hands come behind the heart. Interlace the fingers, press the knuckles to the floor as you open the chest and look up. Exhale to release the hands, interlace the fingers and press the palms away from the chest and the heart away from the hands, looking down towards the floor. From here, release the hands either side of the left foot Curl the toes under on the back foot. Step the left foot back, finding plank pose. From plank, we exhale, bend the elbows, coming through chaturanga. Rolling over the tops of the feet, lifting into upward dog. And then exhale, roll back over the toes. Stepping back into Adha Mukha Shavasana. And beginning to feel the spine lengthen. Pressing the chest towards the thighs and bending the knees, bringing the gaze in between the hands, stepping or hopping the feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, finding a halfway lift. Exhale to fold, Uttanasana, standing forward fold. Inhale, rise up, arms follow, sweeping the hands up to the sky. Exhale, the hands come to the heart. Samastiti hi. Big toes touching a slice, slight space between the heels. Releasing the hands down to the floor. Rolling the shoulders up, back and up, down. Extend through the crown. Grip the feet to the floor and feel the legs engage and the core pull in. Mountain pose. Turn the palms out, inhale, rise high, Urdhva Hastasana, extending through the sides of the body and on the exhalation, bowing with the heart, folding from the hips, coming down, hands land on the floor, Uttanasana, inhale, halfway lift, lengthening the spine, exhale, plant the hands, step or hop back into Chaturanga, inhale, upward dog or cobra, Exhale, and downward facing dog. Lift the hips and press away from the floor. 
on the next exhalation allow the elbows to come to the ground interlace the fingers drop the head into the hands just touching the head to the floor but not putting the weight on the head so we're being mindful of our neck as we press into the elbows engage the shoulders and walk the legs in towards the body and dolphin pose Ada pincha manurasana and gently walk the feet back and drop the hips down to the floor land the elbows under the shoulders inhale lift the chest sphinx pose exhale drop the head lift the upper back and heart pulse inhale rise lift extend exhale fold last round through inhale rise exhale upper back up head comes down <clears throat> release down to the ground hands come either side of the chest and on the next inhalation engage the legs and press into plank exhale back downward dog moving into our flow we inhale right leg comes up and bend the right knee stack the right hip over the left from here the right knee comes through to the chest we hover in plank pose and then land the right foot inhale lift up crescent lunge sinking down with the hips on the exhalation keeping the shoulders and the upper back active on the next exhalation the right hand comes down and the left hand both hands coming to shoulder height as we twist into a Pavrita Virabhadrasana 2 twisted warrior 2 on the next inhalation the left hand comes up and over the right hand comes down and under we cartwheel the arms landing the outside edge of the left foot on the mat left hand finds left leg right hand up and over bending into the front knee dancing warrior inhale beginning to straighten the front leg bring the hand, right hand forward and down left hand follows coming up to the sky trikonasana bringing the gaze up along the left fingertips On the next inhalation, the left hand comes down. We bring the chest to the front of the mat and lift both hands up, bending into the front knee. And Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Inhale, lift off, left foot comes up to the heart. Coming into standing balancing poses now as you exhale, the left hand comes behind the spine and the right hand comes on the outside of the left leg. Coming into a standing twist taking a couple of breaths here maybe bringing the gaze to the wall behind you inhale reach both hands up bring the left ankle over the right knee as you begin to exhale take the hands down through the heart finding deepening into the hips and the glutes inhale rise release the left ankle to the left hand engage the left foot and the core right hand comes up as we fold forwards Natarajasana Lord of the dance pose inhale release the left leg to the floor hands come to the sky crescent lunge exhale land the hands either side of the right foot begin to straighten the right leg both legs are straight Just keep the heart open and the shoulder blades wide as you exhale the belly to the right thigh coming into pyramid pose land the hands to the floor and step the right foot to the back of the mat finding plank pose and then vinyasa exhale down through chaturanga inhale, inhale upward dog exhale and downward dog 
Inhale, left leg reaches high. Bend the left knee, stack the hips, open up through the left side. Exhale, the left knee comes all the way through the heart. We press away from the floor with the hands, shoulders over wrists. And then landing the left foot in between the hands. And lift off. Crescent lunge. Extend to the sky with the hands. Sinking the hips forward and down. On the next exhalation, left hand comes to shoulder height and the right hand meets it. And we come into Twisted Warrior Two. On the next inhalation, the left hand comes down, the right hand comes up. We land the outside of the right foot to the mat, bending the front knee, Dancing Warrior Two. Dancing Warrior, opening through the left side of the body. Inhale, rise up with the left, begin to straighten the left leg, right hand follows. Land the left hand down to the mat, Trikonasana. Revolve the chest skyward. On the next inhalation, the right hand comes down and up as we find Virabhadrasana 1, maybe just re rearranging the feet. So they're a bit wider apart, allowing the hips to square with the front of the mat. And on the next inhalation, lifting off, standing on the left leg, right knee into the chest, standing twist, right hand behind the back, left hand over right knee, looking down the right hand, if you can stay stable here. Right hand comes up and over as we bring the right ankle over the right knee. Exhale, both hands come down through the heart and find a deeper stretch by bending the left knee more, staying strong through the core, lifting the heart, keeping the gaze up a little. Inhale, rise. We find a Natarajasana, Lord of the Dance as we extend the right fingertips to the wall in front of us and the right foot to the wall behind us, catching the foot. On the next inhalation, land the right foot to the back of the mat. Extend, crescent lunge. Exhale, land the hands. Straighten the front leg. Pyramid pose. Extend through the crown and continue to deepen through the left hamstring opening. Land the hands, step the left foot back to meet the right. And vinyasa flow. <sighs> Exhale the knees to the floor. That's today's flow everyone. Please entertain yourself with a couple more rounds. You can add and subtract any of the poses in between. And take your time, move with your breath, and enjoy your practice. For clarity of thought, for truth in speech, for loving kindness. Namaste.